What's up everybody? I just wanted to make a video about a new product that I got here. So my Volkswagen Jetta doesn't actually show anything like uh, coolant temperature or oil pressure or anything like that. So I decided to search around for an aftermarket option that would display that for me just so I know when my car is warmed up. When I was looking for some options, everything seemed like it was over $400. I mean, uh, big screens, really expensive and a little too much for what I really care about. A lot of them were trying to throw GPS's in it and stuff. I just wanted something that would show me my engine parameters. I ended up stumbling upon this product called Ultra Gauge. Ultra Gauge is a cheap little $80 solution to my problem. Unfortunately, my car is actually really new and it's really disappointing that Volkswagen cheaped out so much and didn't give me any of those features. For people who may have an older car, this could be a really good solution for you. Or maybe for somebody who got screwed over like me. So Ultra Gauge is really simple. Uh, it plugs right into your OBD2 port. So if your car is, I guess, super old and you don't have one of those, the product won't work with your car. But it is just as simple as plug and play. You plug it in, you turn your key on, or sometimes you have to turn your car on. It'll fire up and start displaying things. A couple of notes before I really start diving into the gauge. First off, it turns off with your car. So if you take the key out of the ignition and you leave, the screen will turn off and it won't draw any power from your car battery. That means the product won't kill your battery if you forget to unplug it. It also makes it a little bit more convenient because you can just leave it there. And the other cool thing is that the screen uh, is really well engineered. So if there's actually a sun glare on it, you can still see the digits on it. Somehow they managed to do that. I mean, I've had screens, like even, even my little center screen on my Volkswagen, if there's a sun glare on it, it's really hard to see. Whenever the sun glares on this little thing, um, you can still see everything just clear as day. And lastly, it's a lot smaller than I expected. The way they advertised it on the internet, it seemed like it was gonna be a fairly large screen, maybe just a little bit smaller than an iPhone 5. But when I got it, <laughs> it was tiny. Uh, it, was, it was pretty cute when I pulled it out of the box. Not what I expected. But I actually ended up learning to love its size. You can see here where I've mounted it. It doesn't really get in your path of vision very much. Uh, it's nice to just be able to glance right down and look back up at the road right in front of you. But anyway, now I'll start talking about um, the product itself. <laughs> so like I mentioned, it's really small. Uh, it's comparison to my hand. Um, it's a little guy, but it comes with the options of different mounts that you can put. I actually ended up getting the, uh, I believe it was the horizontal surface mount. That was just so I could put it up on my dash. This thing has three buttons on the back and it's made in China. The first button is the menu button and then you've got just two simple uh, up and down tab buttons. Usually when I see these kind of devices, I always get kind of worried because they're always complicated to use. Somehow they made the interface on this extremely easy. So here's the general display right here. Uh, it's not LED luckily, so I can actually capture it on the camera pretty easily. Uh, the main screen allows you to have six things displayed. In my case, I've got engine temperature, boost PSI, um, and some other ones that I chose. When you hit the menu button, pops up and you can choose a bunch of different things. When you start the ultra gauge up, it'll actually ask you for your gas tank size to give you an accurate reading of how much fuel you have left. Um, the ones I've used so far, I mean, you can use trouble codes if you need it, but in order to set up your gauge page menu, you just click menu again, um, all these other options, and then you can just hit menu again to select gauge slash page. And you can do page settings, set to defaults, or you can select your gauges. In my specific case, I decided to go with selecting page seven gauges. In this case, all you have to do is just hit one of the slider keys on the back, one of the two other two buttons, and it'll move your menu arrow down. When you reach your selection, you just go ahead and hit menu again. And it'll bring you right here to all the different options that you have. You can pick six of them. Yeah, so these are just a few of the options. If you go over and you hit next, when you're on next, you just hit menu. It'll bring you through all these other options that you can choose from. I mean, they've got yeah, barometric pressure, wideband O2, ambient air temperature, AFR, brake horsepower, and torque. Those are probably guesstimates. I can't say those are really accurate because you never really know unless you're on a dyno, but I'm sure it's not too far off. Um, instantaneous miles per gallon if you want that in a car that doesn't have it average mpg your miles um, average gallons per hour if you're on a trip 
gallons used. And just a whole lot of other stuff that you may want. I mean, it just absolutely loads you up for only spending $80 on this. And when you're done, you just click back a ton. There are more options to it, but I'll just show you what I have right now, uh, constantly running. This is my custom page seven that I made because it was one that was blank when I first got it. Whenever you're on one of the pages, if you just hit one of the arrow buttons, it should beep at you and then it'll switch pages. Page two, page three, and then these are all, you can set all these to whatever you want. I mean, they have actual timers on them, like a zero to 60 timer. Um, uh, battery voltage, I guess engine temperatures on there also and a smaller one in that case. But yeah, you can pick two big options and then four that are kind of just displayed down below. So thus far in using this for a few weeks, um, I've really liked it. I think it's well worth the money. I mean, it's probably the cheapest option that you can find and it does everything that most people would need. I mean, obviously it's not gonna have that GPS or anything that some of the others throw in there. Or, uh, things I guess I would consider useless, but it shows me a whole lot more than I thought it would. I mean, I got a boost gauge out of this thing for my Jetta. <laughs> um, so if you have a new car that maybe doesn't show you everything that you want, I guess maybe the manufacturer cheaped out like mine, or you have an old car, which I know quite a few of those don't show you information that you may want as well. Um, this is probably a product you can invest in. It's, it's really nice. Thank you for watching this little review video. I'm gonna put up some other videos next to my face. Uh, this is some of the other content that my channel usually has and a lot more will be coming out. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this video or any of the other ones that I've linked you to. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed and share with your friends if you're looking for something like this. Thank you. We're